This is Ian Pretty from the Retro Computer Shack. In this video I'll show you how to connect an Amstrad CPC 464 to a video monitor or TV via the HDMI input. To do that you'll need my IGB SCART lead and this low cost SCART to HDMI converter. You'll also need an extra power supply to power the uh, 464. Uh, I don't supply that, but they're very easy to source. This is one I would recommend. Uh, it's basically a 5 volt DC power supply and you'll need an amperage of about 2.4 amps upwards with a 2.5 millimeter by 5.5 millimeter DC power plug. Uh, and this is the one uh, I tend to use. It's uh, a good choice of reasonably good uh, brand names and quality, but uh, relatively low cost and has the 2.1 millimeter DC power plug on the end. Um, just a quick bit of information about video converters before we start. You can't just make a lead to connect the Amstrad to HDMI. It doesn't work like that. The signals aren't compatible. So the easiest way to do it is to make a SCART lead and then use a converter to convert SCART to HDMI. However, with this information, it's quite straightforward, but buying any SCART converter is not the way to do it. The converters need to be compatible and work with the 15 kilohertz video signal that most retro computers and games consoles output. You'll find lots of um, video converters on the market, but most of them won't work for this purpose. Apart from this low cost one that we'll look at in this video, there are three other main video converters on the market that have been designed specifically uh, for retro computers and games consoles. Much higher quality picture, um, more advanced settings, professional converters and they're also more expensive. But so I'll just quickly mention those. There's three main ones. The OSSC, Open Source Scan, scan Converter, uh, and the RetroTINK 5X Pro and the RetroTINK 2X Pro. Um, the OSSC and RetroTINK 5X Pro uh, both have on-screen men screen menus, are very configurable and have multiple inputs. The RetroTINK 2X SCART uh, is a straightforward uh, plug and play SCART in, HDMI out. That's the OSSC, the latest version from Video Game Perfection which is, oh, you can't see that, I'll put the links for that one anyway, that one's from videogameperfection.com. This is the latest version, um, has a little LCD monitor, and inputs wise you've got component, RGB SCART, and VGA input, and HDMI output. Um, Video Game Perfection also sell it with this superb uh, injection molded case. The RetroTINK 5X Pro is that one. It's got RGB SCART, composite SCART input, component input, composite video input, and S video input with HDMI output. And the RetroTINK 2X SCART is a very straightforward RGB SCART in. HDMI out, no menu settings, just straightforward plug and play. Very high quality though, even though it does look very small. I'll put some uh, links at the bottom of the uh, the video for those if you want to buy more. But for this video, we'll just use this uh, low cost one. Okay, so let's um, make the connections. So we need to get the SCART lead and connect the DIM plug of the SCART lead to the monitor socket on the back of the Amstrad. This lead also has a, a pass through for the power supply. Uh, basically the power supply goes into the SCART lead and the plug out from there goes into the Amstrad to power it. The reason for that is just to provide a suitable blanking signal for pin 16, uh, 16 on the SCART which switches the TV into RGB mode. Uh, this design just makes the lead much more compatible with a wider range of LCD, LED and um, 
CRT type TVs. So we've got the video connection in. Um, now we need to plug the power supply into the lead, which I don't supply. So that plugs into the lead there. And then the power plug out from the lead goes into the power to power the actual uh, Amstrad. Then the additional sound lead, which is also connected, plugs into the I.O. port. That sends the sound out through the SCART lead to the TV. Uh, I'm just going to plug in this additional Amstrad M4 board as well. That's just so I can load up uh, a game quickly. That basically is an SD, SD storage uh, card. Okay, so that just leaves us with the SCART plug. So that needs to go to the video and SCART input on the video converter. We need to connect one end of a HDMI cable to the HDMI input on the TV. I'm actually using a video monitor in this case. Um, and it's already connected at the other end. So we need to plug that into the HDMI output. The other end go into the HDMI input, which is already connected. Next, we need to connect some power to the video converter. Which is at the side there. Make sure these are all switched off first. And then we need to uh, switch the monitor on and select the HDMI input. On this monitor, it's, uh, it's just a button at the front. And then we need to turn the video converter on. And you should get a light on there. When you switch that on, you should get a status box shown on the screen, which has just come up there now. Um, it's showing the SCART input is selected. If your SCART input isn't selected, you need to press the SCART HD button. That just basically toddles between HDMI and SCART. I've already got the Amstrad switched on. That was just so the video will still focus. Um, you may also have to hold to the output resolution. I'm using a 1080p monitor at the moment, um, so it's already set for the right resolution. But the ten, that button there, that will uh, toggle between the uh, resolution output, uh, which you'll need to go through to match your TV. Right, so I'll switch the uh, Amstrad on, and as you can see, we've got a picture. I'll just switch that light out so it's easier to see and we'll zoom in a little bit uh, I've got an M4 board loaded in here so I'm just going to load a game up like this which is a bit different than uh, than you'll do just basically loading Chucky Chucky Egg A bit of luck and there we go so you should get a nice clear uh, color steady picture uh, the colors are a little bit paler on this screen just because let me just set the uh, keys and then we can get some sound as well and the sound should come from the monitor I'll just switch that out as well And you get sound uh, from the monitor as well. Um, it should just be about as simple as that. Um, however, if you get any problems, I've got some troubleshooting sheets, which you can download the links at the bottom of the video. It just basically gives you some ideas on uh, the things to look at. There's also a document more in depth about SCART to HDMI video converters, including the one used in this video.
Well, I hope you find that uh, useful. That's about it from me for this video. And thanks for watching.